Hey everybody, I hope that you guys are doing well. Today I want to talk about this idea of color blindness. Uh, my wife is an artist. She is amazing at it. She can draw, she can paint. She was an art teacher at one point at Freedom Preparatory Academy here in Memphis. And so she, she loves to paint and she, she's really good at it and really passionate about it. So what if one day she walked right here in my, in my office and was just like, hey babe, check out this painting that I'm working on. Look at the colors, check out the, the um, just the yellows and the greens and different highlights of yellow and green and black and white and gold. Uh, what do you think about all those variations of colors that I'm working with in, in the overall painting? What do you think? And what if I was like, yeah, I like the painting, but I just, I don't see the colors. I, I don't want to, yeah, I, I don't see color. I don't really see what you're doing there. I don't really get why you have so many colors. I, yeah, I don't see color. Good painting, great painting. Good job, babe, right? All paintings are great, but this, this, I, yeah, I don't, I don't see color, but I, I like the painting. I'm like, okay, I don't, you know, what if she's like, but wait, wait, like, what, what about this one? Like what I've, what I've done with the, like the purples and the gold and the green and the specks of pink and black and white. And what if I was just like, yeah, once again, yeah, good painting, but yeah, I don't, I don't see color. Uh, I don't really see distinction. So yeah, it doesn't really matter though, does it, baby? I still like your painting. I just don't really get what you're doing with all that different color. That wouldn't value or show appreciation to the artist. And when we say that we don't see color and we don't see differences and we don't see distinctions, that's not showing appreciation and value to the ultimate author and artist who created all of the differences and distinctions. Sometime as a way of trying to be nice or kind uh, we can say, well, we're colorblind and we don't see distinctions and we don't see color and we don't see differences. But the reality is God created all of these distinctions, all of these differences and all of these colors out of his creativity and out of his wisdom and out of his brilliance. And when we acknowledge those differences and, 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 and are thankful for them, even that brings credit and glory back to the original artist and, and author and masterpiece who created all of us humanity, which is his crown jewel uh, creation. As we look to the future picture one day, those of us who are Christians, uh, as we look to that future picture of what the world will be like one day when Jesus comes back, we see uh, in Revelation 7, 9, this picture of every tribe, every tongue, every nation uh, surrounding Jesus and worshiping him and giving glory to him. And so one day, someday, we're going to be surrounded by a multitude of people who represent all of these differences and distinctions. And it's going to be amazing because that's how God uh, created it to be. And so I just want to encourage you. Color blindness might sound nice and cool, but in actuality, we're to appreciate color and differences. You guys have a good day.